Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 on Erasmus Mundus Scholarship Series. I'm Pavan Shiram, former Erasmus Mundus Scholar and former Erasmus Mundus Association President. In this video, I'm going to talk about what to expect post an Erasmus Mundus application. So what happens next? Now that you've submitted all your documents correctly and most simply within the time. So now the group of experts from the consortium assemble or they may be doing this analysis virtually in their respective places and they come up with a ranking list. A ranking list based on who are the top candidates they would like to pursue with. Only in certain Erasmus Mundus Masters uh, program they do have an interview process wherein they would like to understand and get to meet the person virtually if possible. So they do arrange an interview and generally they schedule anywhere between 20 minutes to 60 minutes. And this interview, it's very much to get to know about you and they give you a clear instruction what to expect, who will be in the panel and what kind of questions you might expect. So do not freak out. But majority of the cases, you will be in one of these four situations. Situation one, your application is accepted and you are in the main list and you will be getting the full scholarship. Second situation, application accepted, but you haven't got the full scholarship since you're in the waiting list. Number three, your application is accepted. You're neither in the main list nor in the waiting list, but you are allowed to pursue masters through your own tuition fee and you're a self-sponsored student. And number four, you get a rejection email saying that you do not necessarily meet all the criteria at this point of time and you may try next year. But do not lose hope. But remember, you've done all the hard work, so you've learned a great deal on how to go about application. In my own personal experiences, I've seen people who didn't get it the first go, they haven't made it the next year. Wherein you get an opportunity to really uplift your profile and really make it complete. And you have an experience of how to go about an application, so you have an edge compared to the ones who are applying for the very first time. So it's a learning process irrespective of whatever the situation is going to be. But I really hope that you are in the situation one and you are all geared up for your dream. But do remember, so you submit your application sometime in end of December or in January and you should expect kind of a response from the consortium by February, March, latest by April. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, any doubts, do not hesitate to contact the administrators but do understand that they're also quite busy. They will be getting thousands of emails every day. So only if you're very, very unsure or something is extremely critical, do reach out to them. Meanwhile, very happy to check out all my videos on Erasmus Mundus uh, series. And I hope this is very useful. So please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share. So thank you all. and look forward to see you in my very next episode which is specifically on Erasmus Mundus scholarship budget. So I'll be talking about the details on what are the kind of scholarship you're going to be getting, what does it consist of, and how you can approach your life through the Erasmus Mundus journey. Thank you.